Nitai bestows Radhadasyam, part one. Deep connection of Nitai with Radharani. Many devotees undermine the importance of taking shelter of Nitai before approaching Radha Krishna by claiming that Nitai is situated in Sakiras as Baladev, so he cannot perform the function of giving one Radha Krishna in Madhurya Ras. This conception is completely erroneous and detrimental to the path of our devotional service. This is one of the prime causes why Kali Yuga has been able to establish its firm influence. This is exactly why, even after executing devotional service for millions upon millions of lifetimes, no one is able to reach the stage of spontaneous devotion to Radha Govinda, which the Shastras claim as Ragmark. It is due to this very reason that no one is able to attain Prem even after performing rigorous sadhana. Nityananda Prabhu's role in giving us Radharani's shelter is extremely crucial and unnegligible. Radharani is the instructor of all those souls situated in Madhurya Ras. And Nitai is Adi Guru, Shamashti Guru, Akhanda Guru Tattva, the primeval spiritual master, or one can say, the cumulative form of all spiritual masters. Without the mercy of the spiritual master, no one attains Radha Krishna. Guru Kripai Pai Bhukti Lata Bij. The creeper of devotional service is sowed in the heart by the mercy of the spiritual master. All the spiritual masters are a manifestation of Lord Nityananda and his potency. In fact, the truth is that Nitai is the only spiritual master. Srila Narottam Das Thakur writes, Sri Nityananda Prabhu is the sum total of all gurus. Without his mercy, no one can attain Sri Radha and Krishna. Furthermore, Srila Prabhupada goes to the extent to proclaim that even to realize one's constitutional spiritual form, one Swarup, the mercy and spiritual empowerment of Sri Nitai Balaram is mandatory. Prabhupada says, Balaram means Guru Tattva. Balaram represents Guru. Yasya Prasadat Bhagavat Prasado. If we want to understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if we want to understand Krishna, then we must take shelter of Balaram. Nayam Atma Balahinena Labhyo. This Balahinena Labhyo, this Vedic injunction, means without the mercy of Balaram, you cannot understand, you cannot realize your spiritual identification. So that Balaram comes as Nityananda Prabhu. Balaram Hoilo Nitai. Therefore, we must take shelter of Balaram. A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Source Nityananda Trayodashi Lecture in Bhubaneshwar. This is why Nitai is the ultimate reservoir of all rasas for Krishna. Because the samanda which the eternal jeeves have with Krishna is established through Nitai first. In fact, that relationship is through Nitai because all the jeeves, they are emanating from Nitai's Vistarit Swaroops. From Nitai comes the Chaturvyuha. From that Mool Sankarshan comes Narayan. From Narayan comes the second quadruple expansion, the second Chaturvyuha. Then from Mool Sankarshan comes Karanudakshai Vishnu, from whom Garbhudakshai Vishnu emanates, from whom Shurdakshai Vishnu emanates. And as we know, Mahavishnu or Karanudakshai Vishnu is the cause of all the living entities. Therefore, Nitai is the cause of all causes, and he is from whom all the jeeves are expanding. So, our relationship with Krishna is actually first established through Nitai. 
So only he can take us back to Gauranga Mahaprabhu, back to Radha Krishna. Krishna is defeated and completely conquered by Nitai's love. And thus all his loving relationships pass through him. So it is actually an indisputable fact that the Jiva's direct relationship with Gaur Krishna is through Nityananda Balaram only. There is no service to Krishna which does not pass through Nitai first. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, a very learned associate of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, well versed in the conclusions of the Shastras, glorifies Nitai as the topmost relisher and bestower of rasa. Rasakyo rasadatacha rasabhokta rasashraya. Rasakyo. Nitai is consummately cognizant and adept in the science of all loving mellows, known as rasa. Rasadatacha. He is the causeless bestower of pure loving mellows of love of Godhead. Rasabhokta. He is the crown and summit of all enjoyers of pure loving mellows. Rasashraya, he is the supreme and exclusive abode, shelter, and haven for all the nectar and mellows of pure love. This is from Nitai Ashtottar Shatanam by Srila Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya. Names 82-83. Thus, Nitai is the only way we will be able to regain our original position and return to the spiritual world to Radha Krishna. This is another reason why Samandhagyan is awakened by Nitai's mercy only. Without Nitai, it is impossible to enter into the divine pastimes of Gauranga Krishna in Golok. Srila Prabhupada's Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, also firmly establishes this point in his magazine, The Harmonist, that without Nityananda Prabhu, it is not only impossible to realize one's Swarup, it is also impossible to render any form of service to the Supreme Lord. He writes, Individual souls are under the direction of Nityananda. They receive their service to Sri Gaur of Krishna at his hands. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur has revealed the very same fact in Chaitanya Bhagavat. If Lord Nityananda bestows his mercy and qualification on anyone, then he can serve the Lord. Chaitanya Bhagavat, Adhikand, Chapter 1, Verse 45. Have any of our Acharyas here mentioned that Nitai can give us service in every form except Madhuriras? No. They have clearly stated that it is through only Nitai that we will receive our spiritual form and service. It is needless to say that Madhuri Ras is already included in this pretext. We have discussed some portions of our Acharya's Bani regarding Nitai's relationship in granting Radharani's service. In the next portion, we will see how Nitai is directly serving in Madhuriras as a very, very intimate associate of Radharani in his own Madhurya Swarup. We will also discuss how Nitai appears as the spiritual abode in which Radha Krishna engage in the amorous pastimes. Thank you very much. Jai Nitai.